Thanks guys, joined now by Browns head coach Kevin Stefanski and coach we are on to the Buffalo Bills and they present a lot of challenges. Very good on both sides of the ball. Let's start with their offense, number one in the league, led by Josh Allen. Recently struggled a little bit, turnovers are there, two interceptions each of the last three, but very, very talented quarterback. Yeah, I mean, so multi-dimensional. He, he can beat you in a bunch of different ways. He accounts for a huge percentage of their offense uh, when they're passing it, which they pass it at a huge clip. And then he has design runs and then the off-schedule plays where he can be back there holding the ball, looking for the receivers, particularly Stephon Diggs making plays downfield, or he can tuck in a run. And he's a very, very big physical runner when he does it. You were around Stephon Diggs and you saw him be very, very good for the Minnesota Vikings. Goes to Buffalo 2020, leads the league in receiving third this year. Did you think that he could take that step where he's gone from being, a, I'd call a superstar, to an absolute megastar in this league? Definitely, yeah. I mean, the, the talent is undeniable. You saw it really the second he showed up on campus as a young player. A uh, very, very physical route runner, sudden, explosive in his movements, tracks the deep ball as, as well as any player I've ever been around, uh, so he can find the ball. So, And really what they're doing in Buffalo, it's a ton of volume. He's seeing targets, he's seeing the ball coming his way, and you know, not surprised that he's making all those plays. So they can throw it to him, they can hit bombs to Gabe Davis, and then you mentioned the running. Allen is their leading rusher. What challenges does he present? We did a good job with a guy like Lamar Jackson, but physically, this is a different animal. We even saw it last week with the elbow. One of the early plays in the first half, he runs over five guys, and you could hear the announcement like, hey, calm down a little bit. But what does that physicality bring? Well, I think oftentimes when quarterbacks tuck and run, the defenders are being careful because they are getting ready for that player to slide. He's not going to slide. He's, he's a running back when he has that ball in his hands. And uh, again, he's a big running back when he has the ball in his hands. So it's going to take one, two, three guys to get him on the ground. Defensively, they take the football away. They limit you from really throwing it. Early in the season, they did a great job against the run. Recently, teams have had some success running the ball. Minnesota got a long one from Dalvin Cook a week ago. What do they do that stands out to you schematically? Because they're talented up front. And even with guys that they didn't think were going to be on the back end, they seem to be very talented at the back end as well. Yeah, they're very sound, really, from D-line to linebacker level to the DBs. They're sound. They're, they're really good in the back end of disguise. So they're going to show you too high, they're going to roll down late. They're going to show you one high, they're going to roll back late, uh, which they're trying to make things difficult for the quarterback when he pulls the ball to understand what the coverages are. And then the sound part, it's not a complicated front. They're really going to play one front most of the game. As we know, they're going to play one personnel, nickel, most of the game. Yep. But they're going to fit their gaps. I think that's what I've been very impressed watching them play their defense. They're, they're in their gaps. They tackle really well. Uh, talk about length at the linebacker level with 58 and 49. The safeties, the corners, the, the, obviously they roll all those defense linemen. They all tackle well. When you have a team that has two linebackers, and we'll see if Edmonds is able to go this week after he had to leave last week, but with the size, the length, and just kind of the coverage instincts of those two, how much of a challenge does it make it to work the middle of the field? I think it's a huge challenge, and you watch the tape versus their linebackers, you'll see, you'll pause it, they'll throw a check down or something, and you'll pause it, and you'll think, all right, that, that must get 10 yards. Sure enough, they close in on it, it gains four. And they're just really good at, at closing in on the underneath coverages, wrapping up and making high surface tackles that don't allow you to break a tackle, don't allow you to add more. So that's what we have to be great in our pass game of taking completions. And then when you get those completions versus their zones in particular, you have to knife, you gotta get vertical right away. There aren't many guys where Miles Garrett gives you a good preparation for somebody who maybe not on Miles up, but certainly there over 123 sacks in his career. He's on the all-decade team. Von Miller, one of the elite pass rushers in the history of this game. How do you deal with a guy like that? And, and they got some other guys who can get after the quarterback as well. Well, we played Von last year, so we've recently played him. Uh, he got injured in our game, so didn't play in the second half. But obviously the tape is, is right there. The tape's your resume, and what you see on tape is – Everybody's chipping him. Everybody's giving him attention. He's still finding a way to get to the quarterback. He's, uh, if he doesn't sack the quarterback, he's providing pressure. And that's what's so impressive about him over the years is all this attention he gets, he still finds a way to affect and disrupt the quarterback. How's the sense of urgency been for the team this week? Obviously, this is a big one, given where we are. Yeah, I think the guys very much understand that. Uh, you know, you come off of a, a result that you're not real thrilled with, and, and you don't feel like you put your best foot forward. And with this game and the way the season works. Next one's right up in front of you and it's versus a good football team. It's on the road. It's all those things. So uh, I think the guys understand certainly what's at stake. If this is one that you guys can get, do you think this can give this team a lot of confidence going forward for the final seven? 
Yeah, I think any time you can win uh, in this league, which is really hard to do, it, it's really about stacking those. So ultimately, we can just get one this week, uh, again, versus a, a really good football team. And I think when you are able to go on the road and, and win games, that certainly adds in, uh, some uh, confidence to your team. Coach, thanks so much for the time, and good luck against the Bills. Thanks, Nathan.